Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today is going to be a little bit different as far as my video. I'm not going to do anything about fashion, beauty or any lifestyle content. This is going to be about my YouTube journey and my channel and things that I am noticing. First I want to start off by saying I have been on YouTube for three years as far as posting but I've had a channel just so I can pretty much watch YouTube like everyone else for many many years I'm gonna jump into some things that I have noticed <laughs> things that people have asked me which is my family and like friends and stuff just kind of go through the things that I think would help someone who's trying to start a channel now first thing i always get from people is how long have i been on youtube and that is three years actually posting content all right so my first youtube video if you guys scroll all the way back you'll see that video it's very grainy because i was definitely sitting in my kitchen on my iphone probably 11 i don't even know probably that probably earlier than that maybe the eight or something like that but i did my first video very scared but I did it and I'm still here today, have not given up. So that is the first question I wanna get into on this video is how long I've been doing YouTube and that was exactly three years. So the other thing I wanna get into is like my view count and my subscriber count. Okay, my views are low, okay? When I mean low, I did a research and I wanted to see who was at the 300 video and it was the same thing, so I have to make adjustments, I do, because I am not gonna go through another year of low views. It could be, like I said this before, a multitude of things. Maybe you guys don't like the content. Um, it could be my video formatting, but I'm still gonna push through. As far as my view count, I do know that some videos do get a lot more views than others, or my videos are just not being pushed out. So I have to, have to make some adjustments myself in order to keep this going. One thing I was doing in this whole process was trying to make sure I had the quality on point, and I probably could have waited for that. As far as quality of the actual video, I could have waited, but me being a cancer <laughs> i wanted to have that part kind of um together for you guys like i didn't want you guys to watch something that was just bad as far as the vision or even the audio so just going back through all of my things i'm like okay i made some adjustments i did invest some money i'm gonna tell you right now you don't need to do that you don't need to do that just yet i'm gonna tell you that you do not need to do that the, a lot of the new phones are really, really great. Get you some good lighting and kind of go from there. Comments are things that I appreciate. There's a handful of girls who's always count, um, commenting. And the ones who actually comment on my <laughs> Dr. Bobby Price video, absolutely love it. You know, that's one of my favorite, that's one of my highest view videos. And I think it's because a lot of people are just trying to just be a little bit more healthier. And I did that video, not thinking about it. I was, it was in the morning, um, ready to start my um, detox. So I just wanted to share that with, with you guys. So the comments are another thing. If you guys can comment, that is perfect. I usually get to my comments pretty quick, but even my comments are low because the view count is low. It doesn't bother me, trust me, I am okay with slow growth. I just wanna make sure that I'm answering you guys when I do get to that point of having a slew of comments. I'm gonna go back to view count for a minute. I am a firm believer that people, <laughs> if they see a certain number, they do not deem that that video is important. And I am saying that because I was looking at some stuff on TikTok and this girl said something very similar and I said, I agree. I think that if people don't see a ton of likes on something, they're going to go the other way. It's just the way of the world now and that's completely fine. But I do think that is the same thing on YouTube. One of the young ladies from, I don't know, Kelly Stamps. And then it was another young lady. I do not know her name. They mentioned turning off your subscriber count and your view count, which I would agree with the view count, um, even maybe subscribers, because like I said, some people may see a low number and just feel like the information may not be valuable or you're not that popular or important as someone else. It's just the reality of it. So 
with the view count, it's extremely low. Trust me, some days I'm just like, Ugh, I just want to throw everything, but I'm not giving up on it just yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep on going. Once something sticks, guys, it's going to stick and I'm going to be super happy that I can that I can bring certain things to you guys that you absolutely love. So, all right, so why haven't I given up? Because I like to do this. I like the creating part. I like to make things look nice for you guys. I like to get the information and bring it back to you guys. I am always open to anything that you guys would like to see as far as fashion, beauty, any lifestyle stuff. You guys know that I am a, I'm not even a vegan anymore, because y'all know I ate that salmon. Um, but I'm still plant-based because I have not changed I have not taken anything out of my eating regimen. So a lot of the stuff that I was eating on Dr. Sabi's a vegan um, plan, I still eat that, literally. I have not stopped any anything. I still purchase my same mushrooms. I still purchase Kamut. I still purchase Spelt. I still purchase certain things that I had from him. I have not changed that. Same herbs, I'm still doing that. I literally just added in salmon. That was it. So if you guys want to know more about that, you guys let me know. I just want to make sure I'm giving you guys things that you absolutely want to see. Doing YouTube is not the easiest, especially if you're pumping out, you're creating things and you're doing things and then the count is low. You're like, damn, right? But I don't know. I just feel like eventually it'll pop. If it doesn't, it's just something that I actually like to do. And eventually it'll happen. I, I am a part of the creative program, so I am monetized. So I do get a check. Now the check is not big, y'all. But let me tell you about that. <laughs> I am very appreciative of the hundred and something dollars that I do get. It's not every month though. It's like every two months. So that tells you that the view count and the view count is low or the retention rate is really, really low. If I can get to, I'm very optimistic. So if I can get that hundred and something dollars to be consistent every month, that is a goal, right? Because that means that that's progress and then it'll go up from there. So there are people who jump on YouTube today and just take off because they already had like a huge following on Instagram and stuff. And it is what it is. It's just a part of the process you know in my opinion but let me get into the next thing is my content gonna change because i feel like my view count is low and my subscriber count is low no <laughs> what i am going to do is just keep on pushing it out and get better each time do more research you guys know i am a style coach so my content did change at one point i started out with tall girl stuff and then i switched to kind of like my stuff for my business and that is where I think I should have not done because it's so structured that I didn't like it myself. It's still available for you guys to look at, but I definitely would have <sighs> not done that if, you know, I mean, I could start my channel all, all over. I really can if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know. It's a thought. But um, my content did change back then and then I shifted back. So... 2024, I'm just gonna do things a little bit different. And this is like a little journal video for me to keep myself accountable, try new things, and just step outside of the box. So am I gonna give up on YouTube? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna give up. I'm like I said, I'm just gonna keep pushing through reading my analytics, see what you guys want to see, um, and just, alter, you know, switch up as, the, you know, I do videos and make it the best. Maybe my format may change, maybe not, uh, maybe not always sitting down. Vlogs are a little bit different because you guys are really starting to get to know me. So my vlogs would have to be intentional about where I'm going, what type of value I can provide for you, and what type of, um, how is it going to help you? Like if I'm going grocery shopping, Okay, maybe that'll be good because I'm showing you guys the things that I get when I actually go grocery shopping as a person who eats plant-based, right? So it has to be definitely intentional until I get to the point where you guys like, I just want to see Coco. And will my channel change? No, it's probably not going to change. I'm open to suggestions. Like I said, if you guys want to see something specifically, definitely put that in the comments. I'm open to it. If you are following me on Instagram, on either one of my pages, my business page, or my personal page, definitely 
definitely leave those in my DM. But yeah, so that's my journey. Three years, 651 subscribers. Um, views are extremely low. <laughs> so that means to me, I need to figure out a way to get my videos visible, okay? So it's just more work for me that I have to do to become visible, whether that's doing more shorts or switching up my content as far as the actual format of it, just pivoting, doing something that's gonna draw more people in that wanna actually watch this channel. Mm -hmm. My cousin said to me today, you don't wanna talk about relationships and stuff? No. <laughs> no, you know why? There's so many people talking about it. That is a draining subject. Like, I, I just, I don't like a lot of the stuff that people are saying these days. Women this, women that, men this, men that. I'm just kind of over it, so I'm not interested in that. He's like, oh, I think you'll be a really good person in your insight. You can ask me a question, but I'm not doing a full video on that. It's just too, the energy to me is just like, huh, it's too much. Like, I feel like everybody's doing it. And I just prefer to just be me right i love to have a really nice home um a clean home certain things are just in order for me it's who i am i've always been this way a girl who's always bought luxury items from very early on in new york city so none of this is like new i'm hearing a lot of people say oh maybe we can talk about the new luxury thing because they're saying like oh black girl luxury is over <sighs> The reason why I don't like when they say that, there's a lot of black women who've been doing this. They're not new to this, they are true to this, okay? It's the same thing. They just may not show certain things online, okay? So I don't know, maybe I'll add some of that in just like a little girl chit chat. Maybe I'll add a chatty chatty, a chatty chatty, <laughs> like a, some sort of girl talk on like a day. If you guys are interested in a girl talk, definitely comment below if you stay this far in the video and if you hear this part of the video if you interest if you are interested in like a girl chat or like some sort of live y'all let me know now a live might be pushing it because <laughs> i don't get a lot of views but i'm willing to open up to a live because i think that'll be fun to just talk about just stuff and just get other women's opinions on stuff so that is it three years on youtube Subscriber count, I'm okay with. View count, I am not okay with. And that is the God's honest truth. When you're doing stuff, you're editing and you're staying up late and stuff, and then you get 20 views, it's like, damn, right? But you can't get frustrated. You just keep pushing. Something that I'm going to do one day is going to stick. And when it does, we're gonna take off together, guys. But thank you guys for listening to my journey on YouTube. I talked about my the amount of money that I get and my subscribers, the comments, you guys, trust me, I appreciate you guys. For the girls who's are, who's always commenting, I definitely appreciate it as well. If you are in the pro if you're in the process of starting a YouTube channel and you're scared, girl, just do it. I'm rooting for you. Okay? I'm not the girl that's going to be mad if you blow up before me. <laughs> I'm just happy to see people do it, do what they love and just kind of take it from there. So, <sighs> thank you guys for tuning into this video again if you have any suggestions or things that you would like to see on this channel definitely comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco south nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my style services coco styles ny and i'm on tickety tickety talk Coco Styles NYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.